Hello, so for today's class, you need a little bit of equipment. So either a yoga block or, if you don't have one, because I don't have one, a shoe. Specifically a flat shoe, so like a trainer or a converse or something like that. Or a boot if you want to work yourself extra hard. But just anything with a flat surface will be good. We're going to work your hips a lot. It's going to be quite fun if I do say so myself. We're going to begin lying down, so when you're ready, off you go. Let's go knees bent, feet on the floor. tops of your thighs quite close to your pelvis have your fingers pointing outwards and thumbs pointing inwards and gently press your hands onto your thighs as if you're trying to detach your legs from the rest of your body to try and kind of push your legs away from you um, the closer you have your hands to your pelvis the easier that's going to be so if your hands are quite close to your knees it's going to feel like you're reaching far away from you so bring them a little higher up towards your pelvis and you might notice that it gives you this kind of empty feeling around your abdomen, a kind of elongation around your lumbar spine, which could feel quite nice. And now push more with one hand than the other. And then switch. And switch. And switch. And then both equally again. Stay as you are, take a breath. Bring your knees to your chest. Gently rock side to side. And now make circles with your knees in opposite directions. Nice. Let 
your arms be kind of free and flowing. so you have just your fingertips on the floor. And our palms flat down again. Drag yourself forward with your spine extended, coming through to happy cat position. And then round your spine, drop back into a child's pose. Twice more, inhale, dragging yourself forward with your spine extended. And then exhale to flex and drop back. And then one time, coming forwards. Spine, dropping back one more time. Now keep your right hand on the floor. Bring your left hand towards your left foot. We're going for a swim. Turn your chest towards the side and then swim your left arm up and forwards. Slide back down. We're doing three on each arm. That was the first one. Here comes the second. And down. Last one on the left. When your hand places down in line with your right, switch sides. Lovely, so we're swimming the right arm. Groovy step. Place your hand on the floor when it's time, and then tuck your toes with your knees. Downward doublet, little wiggly wiggles, walks on the spot. Think about externally rotating your shoulders, so turn the insides of your elbows either towards each other or toward the front of your mouth. Exaggerate the movement around your pelvis. Keep doing that and start to creep your feet forwards to the front of your mat. When you get to the front of your mat, keep your legs moving. You can take your hands off the floor, so you're kind of wiggling through your bum a little bit, moving your legs, bending one as you straighten the other. Your arms can do what they want to do. I don't know what my arms are doing really. You can move your shoulders, move your spine a little bit. Then keep this kind of wiggly vibe coming, or going, and then slowly come up to stand. Keep wiggling. Great, in time for the music to stop. I hate it when that happens. Never mind, we'll have to do some yoga instead. Take a deep breath. On your next inhalation, reach your hands back and up. Exhale, bring your hands onto your knees. You can um, keep your spine relatively neutral here, then wiggle your bum from side to side. Try and keep your um, upper body in the same place, so you're not doing this. Combine it, you want to try and really move your hips from one side to the other. Lovely. This is like my favorite piece of music at the moment, in case you need to know that. the breath where you are. Keep the wiggle going, come down to forward bend again. Start to separate your feet and wiggle your way down to a wiggly squat. Okay, so just take a moment to mobilize into your feet. Toes bouncing. Send your knees quite wide if you want to. Okay, 
stay low, take a deep breath. Bring your knees closer together. You can step your right foot back into a low lunge. Knee on the floor, bring your hands onto your left knee, lean back away from your right leg, left leg a little bit. We're there. Next exhalation, hands to the floor, coming into plank and a fake child's pose. Yeah, so just go straight there. We're going to roll through to plank and back again three times. So you roll forwards, head will come through last, and then you exhale, bend your knees again. We all know how to do this. And then roll through. And back again. I've lost count, so we'll do another. back, go to a downward dog, inhale right leg up, bend your right knee, point your knee toward the ceiling, and just rotate your right ankle in the air, try and keep your knee pointing upwards, change direction of the ankle, okay then do a little kind of weaving action, so you're going to bring your right knee down slightly over to your left, and then weave it out to your right again, lift it up, and then weave it down and across to your left, and then weave it out and up to your right, one more, weave it down and across, wave your breath up, right and up, and now bring your knee forwards towards your nose, bring your shoulders forward, step your right foot down, left knee to the floor, so you can take a breath, as you exhale, step forward into a forward bend, and then when you wiggle, inhale to rise. Palms, arms or hands reaching behind you and then hands onto your knees again. We're going to do a bit of flexion extension here, so a little flexion through your spine and then extension. And that, big flexion. You can breathe at the same time, sometimes it's nice to breathe and then extension. One more time, flexion. Lovely. <clears throat> Extension, keep the extension, separate your feet a little bit, come down to a squat again. Wiggly wiggles with the squat. Now hold on to your left foot with your right hand. Inhale, left arm up. Yes. Exhale, bring it down. Change the arms. Left uh, hand holds your right foot. Right hand lifts. And down. One more time each side. Inhale to lift. If you want to do anything interesting or fun with the arm at the top, like call for help, I don't know, something, and then bring the arm back down again. And then we'll switch sides. Same thing here. And then bring it back down. Stay low. Take a breath. We're going to step the left foot back. Where your back it goes? Knee to the floor. Bring your hands onto your right thigh. Knee back a little bit. Exhale, hands down, step back, fake child's pose. Rolling through to plank as you inhale. Once more, bend your knees, push back. Rolling through. And then push back, downward dog on this one. Inhale, slowly take your left leg up. Going to a three-legged dog. Now bend your knee, point your left knee toward the ceiling. Rotate your left ankle in the air. Put in the ones. Change direction. Okay, and now you bring your left knee underneath you across to your right. Kind of weaving and then weave it out to your left and back up. Twice more, taking it down and underneath you across to your right. Out to your left and up. Lovely, down onto your to your right, to the left, and up. I've lost count, but I think that was the last one. Bring your knee towards your nose, step your left foot down between your hands, right knee to the floor, take a breath. Exhale, step forward. Inhale to rise. Big stretch. Exhale, hands to breath. Take a breath. Okay, you're now going to stand on your left foot. We're going to do something quite fun with the other leg. It's going to weave inwards and outwards and inwards and outwards and inwards and outwards. So it's working on dynamic balance. I think we may have done this last week. Can't remember. 
So it's going inwards and outwards, inwards and outwards. If you wanna add a little bend to your standing leg at the same time as your knee is coming down, you may do that. Lovely, and if you wanna add a straightness to the top, you're very welcome to do that. Ooh, how unpleasant, so early in the morning. Okay, the next time your leg comes down, it's gonna go behind you. So we're gonna come into this position with the outside edge of your right foot on the floor behind you. Your right foot's going over to your left, arms up. Hold your right wrist with your left hand. And you come into that side bend. Sorry, that's just me turning around to look at you. Carry on. We're there. We're now gonna lift the back leg, release the hands first though. Lift the back leg, send it behind you for a warrior three. Yeah. I'm just going to move a little further away from the wall here. <laughs> Long step back. Both arms up, my lunge. Big circle in the air with your arms. Hands on the floor, push back to fake child's pose. From the fake child's pose, you're going to come forward through chaturanga. So bend your elbows, squeeze them in towards each other. Push forward. And chaturanga to up to walk. Lovely. Exhale to down dog. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, lower them down. Your heels don't have to touch the floor, by the way. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, relax them down. One more. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, heels down. Now inhale, lift your heels, look forwards towards your hands, bend your knees, either step or jump your way to the front of your mat. Try to land as lightly as possible. And then inhale to rise. Hands to prayer as you exhale. Take your weight into your right foot. We're doing the, wiggy, the little weedy weedy with the left. So it goes down and across and up, down and out, down and up. Oh, you get the idea, right? It looks like it. So it's a weave and a weave, and a weave and a weave. Beautiful, gorgeous, Alex. And then if you want to add a little bend of the standing leg, as your knee comes down and across, you may do that. Wee. And if you want to straighten your leg at the top, oh, God, whose idea was that? I think it was mine. It's not, it's the Royal Ballet. Okay. We're now gonna go left leg behind, crossing it over to your right. Hold your left wrist with your right hand. Reach up and over. And then from here, we release the hands. Take your back foot off the floor and take it to warrior three. Lovely. Hold your balance, dear. <laughs> Long step back, both arms up. Big circle in the air with your arms. Hands to the floor. Fake child's pose. Bend your knees as you exhale. And then pushing through Chaturanga. Squeeze as you come through. Into the up dog. And exhale to the downward facing dog. Stay there and breathe for a moment. And then lift your heels. Bend your knees up forwards towards your hands. Step or jump forwards. Whoop. Lovely. Inhale to rise. Hands to prayer. Similar to what you were just doing, but slightly different. You're going to stand on your left leg. We're going to weave in and weave out and weave in and weave out. This one is gonna be a little bit different, so we're gonna stay with this for the mo, and then eventually we're gonna weave out, lean and kick and come back. Ooh. Yes, and then we'll do that a few times. So you weave in, weave out, lean and kick. And you can make it super slow mo. It really helps if you lean your upper body away. Yeah, and then we'll go again just because it's nice. So go <laughs> weave in, weave out, lean and kick. Oh, it really kills you in here. And then bring it back. A long step back. High lunge. 
We're going to turn to the long side of the mat, open side, and come into a high warrior four. You might need to change the distance between your feet. Just stay here and pulse. Yeah, so you have your toes on both feet slightly turned out. We're now going to turn to face the back of the mat. Don't freak out. Turn, 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 turn. Reach your left hand forward, lift your left heel, lift your left arm up, circle it back behind you, and then reach it down and forward and back again. So forward, up, and back. Lovely, one more. Reaching it forward and up. Now opening up the horse stance, both feet turning out, apologies if I'm coming back to you, and then just move from side to side a little bit. So you can lift the toes, Lovely. Now let's sink a little bit lower of the pelvis. Keep trying to squeeze your knees outwards away from each other. Go a little lower. <laughs> okay, go turn to face the front of your mat. Put your hands on the floor. Step back to plank. Turn your toes to your left. Bend your knees, two arm twist. Inhale, push through to up dog. Toes to the right. Exhale, bend your knees, bump to your heels. Inhale, push through to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Now we have options. You can either go um, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or you can try what in my world I call a diving monkey, or in other people's worlds they might call it a Hindu push-up. Hindu push-up or a diving monkey is where you put your forearms on the floor. You bring your head and your upper body forward, you're gonna lift your elbows, you come to the bottom of Chaturanga, that's really unpleasant, and you lift into up dog. You then reverse it, go chest down. <laughs> and then you go elbows on the floor, oh, push back, and then you push and straighten your arms. I want to do it slowly. So you choose whichever one of those is right for you. Let's do a few more. Four arms down. Reach forwards. Elbows off. Yes. Up dog. Chest down. <laughs> Four arms down. Yes. Push back. Down dog. Couple more. So you're doing chatter, uh, plank chatter and up dog. If that's your word. Forwards. Up dog. Lovely. Chest down. Elbows, down dog. Let's stay there for a moment, shall we? Breathe. And then pulse with your legs. Double pulsing. What a relief that is, eh? Okay, double pulse your way to the front of your mat. When you get there, keep the double pulse going. You lift your chest, hands off. Indeed. I'm going to party for one. Curl it all the way up. Little rave. Do your best dance moves. This might not be your music. To be fair, that's all subjective. This is not my best dance. Just FYI. In case you're thinking this is my best dance move, it's not. I don't know what it is. It's been too long. That's a great one. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to stop the dancing eventually and stand on the right leg. Go for a weave with the left. That sounds like I was saying, let's go for a weave <laughs> with the left. I wasn't weaving. So it goes down and up. Fantastic. Then we're going to add in a little kick out. So it goes out to the side, lean away from the top leg. Yes. Bring it back. Weave outwards, lean and kick. Fantastic. Down, out, weave, kick. How many more should we do? One, out, <laughs> kick. I'm dying. One more. <laughs> out, weave, kick. Send it back. High lunge. And then a big circle with your arms. Turn to face the back of your mat. Turn, 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 turn. Lift your right heel. Big circle to the air with your right arm. Forward. Big, big, big. Beautiful. I lost count. 
opening up to the last one. And we're opening up to the long side of your mat, coming into the horse stance, toes turning out. But we're gonna add a bounce to this one this time. So we're still moving side to side, but also moving up and down. This is so good for your vestibular system. Bouncing. Your vestibular system, in case you don't know, is the balance and body awareness system that exists in your inner ears. Go a little bit lower. Do some weird shit with your arms. Swear a little bit if you want to, because no one can hear. Yes. Anyone's thighs on fire? No? <laughs> no one's. Damn. I'll have to stay here a bit longer. <laughs> Jokes. Mine are on fire. And I take that as a sign that everyone else is, must also be. Okay, turn to face the front of your mat. Hands on the floor. Step back to plank. Toes turning right when you get there. Bend your knees, bunch your heels. Pushing through to up dog. Exhale. Toes turn left. Bend your knees, bunch your heels. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Choices. Sometimes life presents us with too many choices. It makes life difficult for us. Anyway, here they are, making your life difficult. Either double pulsing with the legs, or chaturanga up dog, down dog, about 70 million times, or another couple of Hindu push-ups or diving monkeys. I'm going for the diving monkeys. Feel free to join me. Feel free to give me a big up yours and not do that with me. Here we go, elbows, chest, up dog, chest, elbows, down dog, elbows, chest, up dog, down, elbows, down dog. One more just for fun. Elbows, chest, up dog, phenomenal, chest, elbows, and down dog, crumbs. <laughs> Double pulse your feet and come to the front of your mat. All right, keep the legs going. Slowly come up. We're not going to have as much of a party on this one as we did on the last one because we have stuff to do. Life ain't all a party. Whew, I'm sweating. Inhale, arms up. Halfway down as you exhale. Okay, now this is kind of, we've done sort of similar stuff to this before. You're going to stand on your left foot. I'm going to stand the front back to you. I'm so sorry about the bum in your face. Turn your right toes out and your knee out. Slide your right foot up the inside of your left leg. When you can't get it any higher, extend it out to the side. And now, you can use manual intervention to help you. Sorry, don't, hey, bah, 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 no, no leg dropping, just because I'm dropping my leg. Okay. <laughs> so you're basically gonna go leg behind, bend your knee, kind of like a scorpion's tail, and then send it out to your right again, and then behind you bend. It's a bit like painting the air with your foot. And it's quite nice if you are sweeping the foot behind you with your foot flexed, and then pointing it as it's on its way out to your right again. That kind of makes sense? You want to have your knee as high as possible, and then when it whips behind you, you bend your knee, keep it bent as you take it out to your right, straighten, and then send it out to your left again. And then just keep going all day. And you're going to really feel it in the gluteus medius and minimus, in case you need to know the names of the muscles. Okay, we'll do one more. And then it's going to whip behind you, bend your standing leg, you're going to take your right foot out to your left as far as you can, keeping it off the floor, and then bend your standing leg, go as low as you can, you might even hold onto your right foot with your left hand, go low, 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 to the point of no return, <laughs> just like that. Cool, I'll just pretend it's easy, pretend. We're going to try and come back up again from here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then bring your, uh, you can let go of your foot, hold on to your right knee with your right hand, look forwards, 
stand up, holding your right knee. Good work. Wasn't that fun? Not really. Let's take a long step back, <laughs> both arms up. Circle your arms. Turning to the other side of your mat, Wee. circle your left arm. So your left heel's up, big circle in the air with your left arm, twice. And then you're opening out to the long side of your mat again. This time we're going to move from one side to the other with a warrior four. So you're going quite low. And if you want to do funky arms, you may do funky arms. Ninja arms. Lovely. And if you can, try and keep your knees pointing toward the ceiling. Left eyes down a little bit more. The next time you go over to your left, you're going to stay there. Ooh, wait for me. Turn to face the front of your mat. Coming into plank. Ugh. You're going to go chaturanga and push up again. So basically bend your arms and straight them again. <laughs> One more. <laughs> you're welcome. One more. <laughs> Down top. Turn yellow. I want to be like you when I'm old. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Step or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Whee! Inhale, arms all the way up. Big stretch. Hands to prayer. Is everyone okay so far? <laughs> sort of ish. Slight death. Yeah, okay. We can do it. We're okay though. Okay, inhale, arms up. Halfway down as you exhale. And then like we did on the previous side, you're going to take your weight into your right foot this time, turn your left foot out. So your knee points outward, slide your left foot up the inside of your right leg, and it can't go any further. You can lean, kick your leg out to your left. You may now place your hands on the floor for the extra help. And then send your leg behind you, bend it, scorpion. And then out to your left again. And then we should do a good thousand of these. Try and keep your knee as high as you can, whipping it behind, out to your left, whipping it behind, out to your left. So it kind of bends when it's behind you and then straightens when it's out to the side. And then see if you can do this with soft shoulders. So try not to hunch around your shoulders as you do this. We'll do like 17 more, if everyone's okay with that. It's a good thing I can't count, hey? <laughs> okay. Next time your left leg goes up behind you, you're going to take yourself down. So your bum goes down. Try and hold onto your left foot if you can with your right hand. Go low, 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 low. Yes, Alex. There's a bit of learning that happened on the way on that one, eh? Cool, we're going to go back up again. Ready? Stand up, release your foot if you're holding it. Hold onto your left knee with your left hand. Christ. <laughs> and one step back. Whew. Circle arms. Big circle, big circle, big circle. And then turn to face the back of your mat. We lift your right heel, circle your left right arm twice in the air. Phenomenal. One more circle. Opening out to horse. And then moving from one side to the other. Warrior four. Very nice. If you want to make the warrior four harder, you can go low, maybe bum to the floor, pull up again, all the way up and over, and then down, uh, and then all the way down, and up. You can use your hands to help you if you're doing this variation. So you can put one hand on the floor behind to catch your landing, and then push, lift, across, and down. Lovely. So, you know, just go at your own pace. Keep up with me. Let it go down. <laughs> How many more should we do? One? Yeah. Next time you go with your right. I saw that, Magda. I saw that thought. <laughs> Next time you go over to your right, stay there. And then turn to face the front of your mat. Plank. <laughs> Push up. You're allowed to put your knees on the floor. Let's go one more. Bonus. <laughs> no, 
my dog. And think, thank God that bit's over. <sighs> Bring your feet together. Either step or jump to the front of your mat. And come up to stand. Okay, it's time for the shoe. Now, we did this last year during lockdown one. Some of you were there, some of you were not. If you were there, it's going to bring back fond memories. If you were not there, you might need to phone your therapist tomorrow. Okay, so basically, you're going to balance the shoe or the block on your foot like this. Kind of ish. Then you're going to lean away from your leg, kick out, and come back again. Don't make that face, Rosie. <laughs> basically, do this several times until your leg feels like it's going to fall off. <laughs> but don't wait that long. It won't fall off, just, you know, in case you were thinking that might be a possibility. That's not going to happen. Now, I'd recommend also that you flex your foot, because if your foot's pointed, oh no, baby, it can't work. Well, it's less easy, for sure, than if your foot is flexed. Super cool. Let's try for two more. I'm dying. between one side and the other. Shoe on the floor for a moment. What a relief a vinyasa becomes, hey? Inhale, <laughs> up. You can make it funky if you want to, or just quite simple if you feel like it. So hands down, you can move if you want to. I don't know why I'm touching my bum, but anyway, hands on the floor. Step or jump back. Chaturanga. You can do it like a weird up dog if you want to. That's my weird up dog today. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> down dog. You can make your down dog weird, you might want to cross your feet. Sometimes a crossed footed down dog is quite delicious. And you move above from side to side. If you are doing a cross footed version, switch the cross of the feet so the other foot comes in front. Yeah! Cross, or you can actually try keeping your feet crossed and jump forward. That's a weird one. <laughs> That's so awkward, but quite nice. And then come up to stand. Now we're going to stand on, this time it's your right leg. Hold, shoe, or block. Place said item on foot or ankle. And here we go. Lovely. It really helps if your upper body is leaning out to the sides. So it's almost like, I wouldn't say like a, a horizontalness to your entire body, but sort of. Isn't this fun? <laughs> oh, who dropped a shoe? <laughs> yeah. Keep going all day. Rosie, where have you gone? Come back. Cheeky. Okay, about 75 more. Ugh. Then you can try this where you can flick the shoe and catch it. Not like that. <laughs> I could do this, but oh, I can't do it now. There we go. And that's your next body trick. Keep the shoe nearby. One more flow, and then we're going to take it down. Are you ready? Cool. So ready. We want to do a sissy squat. Do it. Well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, heels off. You can do like a one-handed reach if you want to. Interesting. Yes, I love a request. So, heels off. Knees are pointing forward. Hips, hips, hips. One hand is definitely useful to have reaching forward to help you counter balance. Nice, Vicky. And then go back. Lovely, Alex. Nice one, Magda. Cool. Why the hell not? We could even city squat into a wheel, although maybe not the mamasha, um, for the shoulders, but you could if you felt like it. <gasps> into a wheel. It's a little awkward. And then go back up. Oh, that's 
there for anyone if anyone feels like it. It's a little scary. It helps if you have like a coffee table or a, a sofa, you can or a wall. <laughs> nice, Alex. You can put your hand onto it. I'm actually seeing stars. That's fun. I'll be okay. So you can reach back for the wall and then walk your hands down the wall until they reach the floor and then come back up. There we go. Bit of impromptu uh, back bending there. Thank you. I take a rest. I'll be here all week. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Feel free to have another couple of goes. And now we're all just standing around. <laughs> yes, go on, Daniela. Believe in yourself. So, yes, and take your time also. If you uh, turn your hand outwards, that will help you to catch yourself on the way down. Yeah, like that. Go slowly. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. And then you go into your wheel. And then you come back up. To be fair, I've done that about 75,000 times in my life. So in case you're wondering, why does she make it look that easy? That's why. Repetition is the key to a lot of stuff. Okay. Thank you, the little interview is tremendous. Let's do some stuff. Stand on your left foot. We're gonna weave twice and prepare the chair. Okay, so on your left foot, you weave in, you weave out, you weave in, you weave out. Lift your leg high, extend, keep your leg up, hinge forward. And now, send your leg behind you, bend, so it's kind of like a warrior three with your leg bent. Take it back out to your right and then sweep it behind you again to your left. And then low, down to that kind of dragony squat. So you can put a hand on the floor. You can hold on to your right foot with your left hand if you want to. Send your bum low, 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 low. Yes, super cool, guys. Okay, let go of your foot, come back up. And then long step back to a high lunge. Big circle in the air of your arms. Whoa. Now, weird thing here, you're gonna weave, uh, sweep your right arm across to your left. Yes. And then sweep to the other side. So it's kind of like, I don't know, sweeping. A sweeping statement. Lovely. The next time you sweep open to your right, you're gonna turn. Your left arm's gonna make a circle. So you face the back of your mat and do two circles in the air with your left arm. There, and then open out to the long side of your mat. Take yourself down to warrior four. Any funky arms, you can sit down if you want to. Lift your bum, move across the other side. We're not gonna stay here forever. Yes, guys, and up, over to your right one more time. The next time you go to your left, you're gonna stay there. Except turn to face forwards, hands on the floor. Plank, one push up. <sighs> Down dog. Step or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Inhale to rise. Hands to breath. Stand on your right foot. Then weave with the left. Lovely. When it comes to this third one, take your leg up, extend. And then kick out to the side. And send it behind you and then back out to your left. You can put your hands on the floor if you need. Back and out to your right, over to your left. One more to the right. And then send down or down behind. Hold your left foot if you can, or if you want to, if that helps. You go low. Ready to come back up. Foot out to your left. Long step back, high lunge. Big circle in the air with your arms. Doing that sweeping thing again. Left hand sweeps over to your right, and then open to your left. Sweeping, sweeping. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Nice. Amazing. Next time you open to your left, you're going to turn to the back of your mat. Whee! Lift your right heel. Two circles in the air with your right arm. Beautiful. Warrior four, open to the long side of your mat. Take it low. Shift across. 
across. Amazing, shift across. You guys be absolute coolest, shift across. One more time to your left. Last time to your right. Turn to face the front of your mat. Plank. One push up. <clears throat> Down dog. Stay there, take a breath. Congratulate yourself for your hard work. Oh, bring your feet together. We're going to jump through to the front of your mat. So either shoot your legs through your hands or land your feet just behind your hands. Take a seat and then shoot them through. Ready? Go. Whoop. Amazing. Oh. Shoe time. Similar to show time, but a little different. So you can hold onto your shoe and take a lie down. Thank heaven for that. Oh, what a relief. Except it is, but it's not. Okay. <laughs> You're going to balance your shoe or your block on your foot. Some of you have done this before. We haven't done this. I don't think we've done this in lockdown. Have we done this in lockdown? I can't remember. Basic. The game is you're going to go from lying face up to lying face down, keeping the block or the shoe on your foot. So. <laughs> You can turn, I would recommend turning to your left foot if you've got the block on your right foot. It requires considerable internal rotation from the top foot or from the top hip. Bend your knee. If you lose the block, just start again. And once you come onto your front, you're halfway there. You're going to keep going and do a full rotation if you can. So you have to kind of re reorganize your whole body. I don't know what happened, but today I managed to do it in one go. And I don't know if it's because of what we were doing before, or if there's been some kind of fluke, an accident, I'm not entirely sure. If you manage to go one way, try and go the other way. One way is definitely easier than the other, just in case you have questions or concerns that one is harder than the other.
Thanks, you guys. You can finish the rotation that you're currently on. in particular, so the muscular control of the hip joint, so it kind of gives you strength and flexibility at the same time, and we do them with internal rotation, which I think is a little underrated in yoga land, but very necessary for real life. Okay, let's start finishing up any little bits and pieces. Shavasana for as long as you feel you need a well-deserved one and then make your way back into your day when you're done. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon.